Previously on Phoenix Wright. Something you want to say? You're a sham! You're a sham, Edgeworth! No. I'm a sham! And now there's more. It was like 9 o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know? Uh, okay. What, what made you want to look out the window? Just gazing, I guess. Why did you do that? Huh? Why? Like, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee. What? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. I sort of, you know. Stop jiggling your boobs! I had a feeling. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to make me vomit. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one. Um, I don't know. I don't really see... I mean, Phoenix, if this goes horribly wrong, I'm blaming you. I would back down because, you know what, I look out the window sometimes, you know? But if this goes really badly, I'm blaming you. Let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night. I... Ooh. Oh god, her eyes! Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. But badgering? You insist on needling her- needling? Needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah! Yeah! Stop him! Oh god, I told you! I told you! Order! Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Poor girl. What, what about poor me? You looked out the window. What did you see next? I told you it would end wrong. We're not ever doing that again. We're trusting my instincts. And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The woman with long hair. That was Mia Fey? Um, slender, sort of. Well, some people might say pretty, if that's your thing. Your thing? And the person attacking her? attacking her was that mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. How do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, y you know, she had a girlish physique. Women have- women know these things. Look, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, your honor. He's right. Yep, he's right. I question that. Hold on a minute! That testimony stinks! <laughs> you really said that? What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that you're lying. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Oh, that is true. I did not even think that way. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. I'm just gonna casually roast my defendant. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of those things. The testimony is bogus! But... but... Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. I was there! She was, your honor. I saw her. And so did Gumshoe, yeah, and so did Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> what do you say to that, Miss May? Did she say rawr? What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I, I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. Oh, <laughs> testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. 
Don't make me say things like that. Disgusting. We're in court. <laughs> I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That, that clock. Um, the kind of statuey clock? The thinker, I think? Well, does the accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. Um, oh god, that's not what I wanted to do. I did, I, I did see everything I did. No reason to press that. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran to the right. Um... Pressing that. Is that right as in your right? As you looked from the hotel? What? Um, which hand do I hold my knife in again? Right. It was my right hand. Right? Right. Satisfied, Mr. Right? It was a right hand. Her fu- Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. How convenient for you to remember her hippie clothes. That's what you- I mean, that's what she was wearing. Oh, and her hair was all done up like a bun. <sighs> what happened then? And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. I'm sure you did. Where did this weapon come from? She picked it up from the desk. Let's see, what sort of weapon was it? That clock. Well, I'm gonna press that because it's still a statue. A uh, clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now. Um, it's definitely a statue. Or at least it's submitted as a statue. Um, I'm gonna. Should I present it? I might get fucked if I do that. I just wanna check this one. Right Ran to the right? That makes no sense. She died right square in the middle. How did she end up in the middle? Alright, whatever. Don't present this. Objection! Miss May. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Ooh, you'd like that one. Ugh, Naughty Mr. Lawyer! Ugh. You just said that this statue of the thinker was a clock. Thank you, Phoenix, for ignoring this shit. You're the real one. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. Order, order. Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh, uh. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. Stop interrupting, Edgeworth. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. No! No! I'm not standing down! But questions are all I have, Your Honor! <laughs> and as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Whew. That was close. If you stopped me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? Th that's... Because... I heard it? Yeah, I heard it. Say the time. So, you've been to the law offices of Fanco? No, hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. <laughs> Law officers of Fanco, where the murder took place. It's very close to the hotel. 
She could easily have heard the clock. Mm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? Mm -mm. No, Your Honor. Can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... You wouldn't have rung. What do you mean? I'll look at the court record real quick. heard it, right? I hope. You were at the hotel. There's no way you could have heard a clock go off in the building next door. You have proof that she could not? Uh. Amateurs, amateurs. Listen to me, Mr. Wright. In the courtroom, proof is everything. Without it, you have nothing. You are nothing. Then I would like to propose a test to see if she really could have heard. The prosecution denies her request. W w what On what grounds? This is a trivial matter with no direct bearing on the case at hand. Indeed, objection sustained. Damn! Time to switch directions, quick! Ready to proceed, Mr. Wright? Mm-mm! No, Your Honor! Okay. I guess it couldn't have rung, but I don't see why it didn't. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. What? Oh! Oh! It's... It's empty! <laughs> it's empty! That clock is missing its clockwork. Cause she put the... She put the files in there for Maya. She put files in... How oh, am I so stupid? How could you possibly? Just take a look right now. Oh, you see anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Take that, Edgeworth! Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big, fat, F***ing liar! F fat Well, Miss May? Tsk, tsk. Hmm? Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clock removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Damn, no, 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 I have, a, I have, I have proof! Hmm, that's true, that is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Absolutely! <laughs> Impossible, of course. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed is this! Oh. Oh, I can read it. Oh shit. Let me let me look at this. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to. Me. What is it? It's a clock. It's made to look like a stinger and it's probably telling you the clock isn't talking right now, huh? It's not working. There you go. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Three, two, one. Take that! Take, that! Take a look at this. Hmm. That's a very cute cell phone. Ooh, you have a girly phone! Wait, wait, this isn't my phone. <laughs> Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order! Oh my god, Edgeworth, you alright? <laughs> the defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention! Perhaps... Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. 
Uh, good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Ma! 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 Well, Miss May? Would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? Well... Well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I, I got to so many. Oops, I forgot. So the witness has... Oh. So the witness has seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes! You can't get this in a store. The witness claims she had seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. It was made by Larry, uh... Take that! Take that, Your Honor! It's simple. This clock was never in any store ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the, in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. But impossible! Everything is sold in stores! Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. <laughs> oh? Excuse is not on sale today? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god! Jesus! What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it! And she should die for it! Die! God! Jesus Christ! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves! This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Oh, 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 <laughs> silly me. Did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did. Did he? Scary. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... What? You held it? You had heard about it. You had heard about it because of wiretap. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Take this wiretap! Have a look at this. Ah! Ooh! Th that? <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss Maya Fay's phone. Were you not? Or, sorry, Mia. I'm sorry, Mia and Maya are so similar. <gasps> Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous! Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely! Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. 
Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not! Oh yeah? I think I can! It's simple! What? <laughs> Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... Isn't it on the voicemail? Yeah, it's on the- we just did this! Take the phone! I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversations between the defendant and the victim. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I wanted- I want you to hold on to me. But on ho I- I can't read! I want something for you to hold on to. Again? What is it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like the statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Objection! Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, he's ridiculous! Look at the witness's face! Does she seem amused to you? The defendant- the, 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 the defense- <laughs> The defense demands an answer! La, la. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right? You, you lawyer! It's not fair. All of you ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? <laughs> that did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. You did it, didn't you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity tapping uh, irrelevant? Gosh, she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, we're tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Well, this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice. He has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Ha! I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking, I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you're not the first man who's thought that, and of course, I can and will. You can't be serious. No way. Way, I say. Way! Oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay, so the killing happened around nine at night. Why, that's just when I was... Getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Iced coffee? That's a thing? Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Ergo. The witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. Gah! So where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Fey, commit murder. No, they're going to let her just walk away? There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of 
of something. Oh, you already know we're gonna call that bellboy in here. 